cancer is welcome to your mid-October heart spread here. Sorry I'm a day late. It's supposed to be Tuesdays, always uh, Gemini Cancer Day. But uh, it's busy trying not to die. It was actually your second reading. First one was great. Should have been there. <laughs> no. Uh, technical problems. Um, I'm going to blame Mercury retrograde. As an astrologer, I was going to say officially give everyone permission. Blame whatever you can on Mercury retrograde with everyone else. But, you know, you know in yourself what needs to be taken care of. That's what Mercury retrograde kind of shows us. What, what we need to take care of ourselves, you know. Not so much about the X's showing up. Um, let's see. So, Cancer, this reads uh, one you're thinking of, the one that's uh, in your heart. Um, you and your other person will look at here. And um, if you're single, I do have a single thing that I need to um, That would be, if you have single friends, you know, pass it on with you. You know, like, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, really helps. I appreciate it. Um, and also we have the Soul Family Read. I do every day, a daily. And it's just a collective read wherever resonates. A little more focused on spirituality manifestation than it is t with love and romance. This typically is here. But this will get to the heart of the matter. Eight cards. We'll look at you and your person, where you're at, where they're at. How you feel about each other, what the advice is. You're dealing with each other. Advice for the relationship as a whole. One more time. And the outcome with the eighth card. And um, let's see what we got for mid-October for you kids. This you. Well, wounded warrior. The nine of wands energy. So where your mind and heart is at in the round relationships. Yeah, I try to look at this as a baseline where you're at. A little separate from your person. Where you're at personally. So it would be like even before this person comes to your mind who you're thinking of, comes into your life, I mean, you've already been through a lot. This is a relationship stuff. I mean, you, a lot of times with this you can just count. It's funny, you, know, you count nine. You know, uh, it could be like a whole lifetime of patterns. You're kind of in a pattern, look at them. Kind of in a pattern. So... Um, And you're on a knee. You got one more. You know. It's like um, someone that you've tried a lot at love. You probably love too much. It's kind of how that would roll usually. Um, I mean that's you know. Um, a lot of energy going out. You know. That's why you're worn out. and you're, But you're not giving up. You know. On love. Now this person. They're coming into the relationship with Seven of Swords energy. Okay. Uh, let me get a clarifier on that. Hermit. I had a feeling about this. Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The energy of walking away is an overall energy. I do count that now lightly in the heart spread. So we're clarifying your person coming into the relationship with this, you know, Seven of Swords energy. Now, the good thing about this, good meaning in terms of you in a relationship with this person, typically this energy is not on you. It's something they're bringing from the past. And here you can see they're definitely bringing it from the past. What is Seven of Swords is here, number two or number one? Someone coming into the relationship and they're just really bringing that shit with them. It's, it's fresh. It's something dirty done to them they did energy and um it's in their on their mind strong swords you know um i like it that the hermits like clarifying it um it gives me the sense that they're trying to get a handle on this probably um this is that personal energy i feel like it's kind of being lost a little bit most it's really not a good energy becoming into relate. You see, they're also looking away from the relationship. It's like if they're this person's gonna have a relationship at all that you're thinking of, first of all, they gotta get a lot of stuff taken care of. The good news is clarifying the hermit, I think they're I think they get that. And they're trying, excuse me. That's why I'm behind a day, sorry. Uh, supposed to be Tuesdays for you guys, uh, and Jim and I, but I'm just going to poco and poco, guys. 
So now I want to look at where you're at and how you relate to them. I'll be damned. That came up in the last reading, exact same place, and I shuffled a lot. I had a lot of time. So, Five of Cups is how you're reacting to them. It's not good. You know, with them coming, uh, clarifying with the Hermit, let's see how they react to you. Um, but they could be just not responding to you, ghosting you, kind of staying to themselves. Even if they're with you, it's going to be the energy of them really drawing away from you emotionally. You know something's wrong. If you're being in Scorpio or water, you know, uh, energy. Uh, I guess you wouldn't be a Venus in Scorpio. Or Venus in Cancer, I mean, or you're just a Cancer. That emotional energy, you're going to feel that they, they withdraw. Uh, but they would almost come in that way. So it wouldn't be like a sudden change in this person. It's like maybe this weren't, once you kind of got to know them, pretty quickly you'd have realized they're not fully there for you emotionally. Now, this is your person, the Hanging Man. Look at this. You've got two cards, the Hanging Man and the Hermit. They are really withdrawing. No wonder you're on your knees in the Five of Cups energy here. And, you know, it's just not good because if you look here, this is you coming in a relationship. This is you, how you feel about it. You're on your knees in both cases. It's not good. So I'm sorry. Been there. You know, especially, you know, you see both of these soldiers are not wounded. You know, they're strong. Um, they're tired. And they're hurt, mostly hurt. So you respect that. Now, your person, man, they're major time out here. I mean, this is the reaction to you when it's a hanging man. I can say, when I see a hanging man here, when it's major Kana, it's almost like whatever they're doing, even though it's this for you, I think it's the right thing for them to do. Remember, the right thing for someone to do might be the wrong thing for us. And that does not a couple make. Just saying. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is your advice from spirit towards this person. I kind of get the feeling of this, a holding space. You know, but... It's also being solid and sincere and sticking to your values, your core values in this relationship. But I don't see you really reacting to this. It's just almost like you're saying to them, I'll wait for you. And I hope you're saying that because it's Ace of Pentacles, like when you're ready, you know, so you're not subjecting yourself to a cycle of like, I don't know, it could be a, not unfulfillment, if not some kind of emotional abuse. I mean, you're feeling this Five of Cups energy, but you're not willing to, like, succumb to it. Um, hopefully, too, with this energy, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, this is all you. Uh, it could be kind of turning this Ace of Pentacles back into yourself because you need to get yourself some rest and get off your knees. I mean, in here somewhere, they have to come the four of uh, swords here, you know. So maybe it's good, this person, you know, uh, um, rejections, God, protection. This may not be outright, project. Uh, now here we go. This might not be outright rejection. This might be this person kind of knows that they're in the hermit energy. They know that they need to be alone. And they need some time. And it's really a time out more than look at things from a different perspective for them. It's time out. That's what it's about for them. And it's time out because they're undergoing a transformation. Now look at what they have. The Seven of Swords. And you know, that's a Scorpionic card. And care if it's ones. And uh, this could be all part of it too. Um, and a past relationship started the whole thing off. But they're handling it very well, I believe, with the Hermit energy. And there's a wisdom about them. So I got the feeling that your person, tell me if I'm wrong, if you're cross-watching, Cancer, if your person's cross-watching, uh, they know they're transforming. They know they're in the midst of a transformation. And maybe they tell you this while you're the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you kind of get it, you know? And maybe you, if not, now you do. And the real, I'll tell you, Maybe you realize this is a good thing that I have some time to withdraw, heal, get myself strong. And, you know, I'm really not ready for anything. I'm going to devote myself to me for a minute. And because this is the advice from spirit anyway. And with this being advice from spirit, this is a positive and necessary transformation. Pluto, Scorpio energy. 
death and transformation. It's not always fun or easy, but this is necessary. This is gonna be in their chart, Pluto transit, Pluto opposite moon on me, you know. He's got to say, you ain't the boss of me, Pluto. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, four ones. This is your advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. I don't know how to see that other as encouragement. So you could be handling this in a very mature way. And seeing that you're blocked, each of you working on yourselves. But understanding that there's something there. You're the one thinking of this person here, Cancer. And with this here, it's a... Kind of telling me that spirit's saying that there is something here, there's potential here. And let's get the outcome. And it kind of would explain why you would wait. You know, it's like, I think kind of, what I would say, Cancer, when they started it really explain to you what was going on with them, you really admired um, their depth and per self-perception and really kind of their grounding strength, you know, to almost, uh, you know, honestly, I hate to go this way. This could also manifest as someone facing a serious illness and, you know, dealing with it. And it's going to be okay. This is a very positive ca card saying this is the building of a long-term solid relationship or marriage. Wands are actions of the building of that. Okay, it's not having that like the Ten of Cups or... The Ten of Pentacles. So let's see what we got for the outcome here, guys. It's going to be some length of time here. Yeah, marriage. <laughs> I just I want to make it simple for you guys. It's going to be a length of time, and I'm um, four months would be good for you. I think it could be longer with this person, uh, but you know you have this solid energy here of the four wands and you have the hair font as your outcome of the heart spread um, is another way this could be going this could be a separation of in an existing marriage but it will come back together if that's the case and I believe it, it will be stronger from this experience so that makes it very simple for outcome two and then your person would be the one really this whole experience threw them into this deep life cycle of uh, introspection and trans transformation emotionally spiritually that's going to put this person and this is why you're waiting why you're willing to put your pinnacle on it you know even though emotionally it's not fulfilling you you're on your knees you know uh so good on you being incredibly uh brave and loving i mean you you feel some commitment uh, to this person even under these circumstances, there's soul stuff here. So there you go. That's what you're going to get from it. And like you know it, you know it's coming. That's why you're willing to hold space, Cancer. So thank you guys. Please leave a comment. It helps me a lot. It helps the channel a lot. Uh, donate. If you can't do that, leave a comment. Hit a like. I've set so many likes. It's good karma. It's easy. Thank you guys.